What's good guys, welcome back to another video. So I have some very good news to tell you guys to start off this video. So I went back to the hospital yesterday to get my collarbone re-x-rayed and to talk to a doctor about it. And basically the good news is that I don't have to get an operation to fix my collarbone. And also I got a photo of the original x-ray and the x-ray that I got yesterday to show you guys and to show you the healing progression that it's already made in the first week. So as you can see from the x-rays, it is a complete break through the middle of the collarbone. And already in the first week, the muscles around the collarbone have been pulling it back into place and straightening the collarbone out, meaning I don't have to get an operation which I'm super happy about. So yeah, that is the update about my collarbone and it should be healed in around five weeks from now. So I'm so excited for my collarbone to be all fully healed up and I can get back into flipping, riding motorbikes and all that good stuff again. But for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve the cinematic look on any GoPro Hero camera. Look at my face, whoa. Look at my halo. So first off, I'm gonna show you guys the settings I use on my camera to get the most out of the GoPro. So usually on my Hero 7, I shoot at 1080 to 60 frames per second. It depends on what I'm shooting. I might go 1080, 120 or shoot 4K sometimes. Also for the FOV, that depends on what you're shooting, but usually for the cinematic look, I use linear. But depends if I'm shooting POV or something like that, I'd either use wide or super view. For stabilization, that is left on auto. Then for Pro Tune, you're gonna to wanna to turn that on. So first off, we have the shutter. I leave that on auto usually. For the EV comp, I leave that on zero. For white balance, I also usually leave that on auto so I don't have to change it every time I get into a new scene or a new place because it is an action camera. You're supposed to just get it out and start shooting straight away. For the ISO minimum, that is left on 100. ISO max is 800 so it doesn't get too grainy in low light situations. And for sharpness, change that to medium. For color, I put that on flat. Raw audio, I just leave that off. Usually I don't really use the audio from a GoPro. And mic is just set to auto unless you're in a really windy situation. And those are the settings that I use for my GoPro to get the footage ready to color grade in editing for the cinema. Look. And speaking of color grading, recently I created a new LUT pack for you guys, which is going to make it even easier for you guys to achieve the cinematic look for your GoPro or any camera that you use at all. So yeah, I actually released the LUT pack today, and if you guys want to pick it up, go click the top link in the description. But inside the LUT pack is three LUTs, the Dream LUT, the Cinematic LUT, and the Everyday LUT. And each LUT folder contains two files, a Log LUT and a Normal LUT. So the Log version of the LUT would be what you use on a camera that has a Log profile, such as C Log, D Log, V Log, and S Log. My camera right here has V Log, so I use the Log LUT on this camera but for any other camera such as a GoPro or phone click the other file which is the normal LUT that actually works on any camera whatsoever so yeah if you guys want to pick up my LUT pack today you can click the top link in the description and download that it would help me out so so much and it would also help you guys achieve the cinematic look on all of your videos and if you do purchase the LUT pack send me a DM and tag me in your videos because I really want to see what you guys create with it so now I just got to go shoot some GoPro footage to show you guys what the settings of the camera combined with my LUTs can do to create the cinematic look so earlier today I went out with Tom and he went to a car wash to wash his Car. Look at my face, whoa. Look at my halo. Look at me dance, look at me dance. Where do my friends go? Where do my plans go? Look at my face, yo. Seventy angels, I wanna save you. Go to love, I go away. Pago sun, go to race, and I take and I take. I wanna die Today, Tom and I headed up to the city and we bought a new camera together. We bought the Canon 5D Mark IV. And today we came out to the block and we went out on the boat today, did some wakeboarding. But unfortunately, as you know, my collarbone is still broken, so I couldn't do any wakeboarding. So I just got some practice in with our new camera, got some test shots. Look at my face, whoa. Look at my halo. Look at me dance, look at me dance. Where do my friends go? Where do my plans go? Look at my face, so 70 angels. I want to save you Yeah, we just got back from the boat trip, wakeboarding and testing out the new camera was heaps of fun. We just got back to the block. We're going to head out and film some clips around the block and see if we can get some nice cinematic shots. You ready? Hmm? You ready? No. Look at my face, whoa. Look at my halo. Look at me dance, look at me dance. Where do my friends go? Where do my plans go? Look at my face, yo. Seventy angels. I wanna save you. Go to love, I go away. Pago sun, go to race. And I take, and I take. I wanna die to you. 
just got back from the block and that is going to be it for this video guys if you did enjoy please show this bit some respect and if you want go pick up the LUT pack it'll be the top link in the description and also throughout this video I use the LUTs on all the footage to show you that it is compatible throughout all sorts of cameras Canons, Lumix, GoPros, phones, anything so if you guys want to check that out top link in the description and it is 2020 now so happy new year to everyone 2020 is about to be amazing and yeah that's going to be it for this video if you did enjoy please show this bit some respect and I'll see you guys in the next one Where do my friends go? Where do my plans go?